This tutorial was inspired by Arietti from the movie The Secret World of Arietti. So I just recently watched The Secret World of Arietti and I was captivated by the storyline and the music and every single moment in the movie just was heartwarming and it was incredible and amazing. So the first step is to prime your eyes. Here I'm using Too Faced Shadow Insurance and it's just going to be a way for the shadows to not crease and to show up more vibrantly. Look at the trees I used to play there when I was a child. So here I'm just going to be taking my Coastal Sense 88 Warm Palette and with my MAC 217 or any kind of fluffy brush, I'm just going to take that violet and pearl color, mix it together and apply it on my lids to create a wash of color which will also serve as the undertone for the look. Next, take an orangey or peachy toned eyeshadow and just apply it on the center of your lids. This will serve as Arietti's hair color in the movie. Now taking a fluffy blending brush, just take a white or a peachy tone eyeshadow and this will serve as the highlight for the brow bone. Next with an angled contour brush, just take a pink, red and orange, mix them together and apply it on the crease and inward towards the inner corner of the eye and this will serve as Arietti's borrowing outfit. With a fluffy eyeshadow brush, go back to the orange and mix it with a hint of brown and just apply it above the crease area to give your eyes more depth. With an angled contour brush or a pencil brush or any kind of dense brush, just take a plum or purple color and just Apply that along the hollows of your crease and this will add and give definition to the look. If you want a more saturated color payoff, just go back to the red and apply it on the center of your lids and just blend away the harsh edges. And really, really lightly, that way it won't desaturate the color that you want it to be. Now it's time to brighten up the eyes, and here I'm just taking a yellow or a peachy tone color and just going to be applying that in the inner part of my lids. It'll just serve as the light that was really significant in the movie. So here I just want my crease line to be more defined and more visible. And I'm just taking that plum color and with an angled liner brush, I'm just going to accentuate the crease line. After that, just blend away the harsh edges. Since I pulled the purple or plum color above my crease line, I just wanted to even out the look and therefore I took the yellow or peachy tone color for the inner corner and pulled that up as well. Now 
Now take a black eyeliner. Here I'm using Maybelline's Master Drama Eyeliner in Midnight Master. And I'm just going to be tight lining my upper lash line. And for my waterline, I'm using a brown one. And just to kind of contrast the look a bit and to not overwhelm it too much. For the lower lash line, to add a pop of color, I'm just going to be adding the red and orange mix and just going to be using a flat eyeliner brush for that. Now it's time for mascara. Here I'm using L'Oreal's Voluminous Million Lashes Mascara and just going to be adding a few coats of that on the top lashes and on my bottom lashes, I'll be using Maybelline's Full and Soft Mascara. the brows, I'm just going to be using Buck from the Naked palette, and sorry I didn't get to film this, um, I think it got cut or something. Filling in your brows is a must, and it totally makes a huge difference because it frames your face. Now back to the face, and here I'm just using my NYC bronzer, just to give my skin a bit of glow. And for blush, I don't think it got filmed as well, so I just used my Maybelline Dream Loose Blush in Peach Satin. Now moving on to the lips, and here I'm just applying my EOS lip balm, and this increases the staying power of any lip product that I would be putting in on my lips. I actually did two alternative looks. One is a, a pop of color in which I used Revlon's lip butter in Lollipop, and the second look I used Max Luster lipstick in Serum. So this is the finished look, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!